Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Health Pro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. I really don't know what that one was. So for today's video, I uh, thought I would bring back a little something in like a different way. So I had done wishlist videos in the past, but I feel like it got to the point where I had so many things on my wishlist that it was A, irresponsible, B, didn't really make much sense because I barely got any of it. <laughs> and that kind of made me sad. And then C, it almost became like, I don't know, too much intention. And I'm like, no, I need to like clear my mind and, you know, I don't want like a capsule wardrobe by any stretch of the imagination, but I want to like buy pieces that actually like truly interest me. So that means I wanted to turn my like wish list style videos more into something I like to call I'm so into this. I'm so into this, I just want to bring up a few of the items that I find really interesting and, you know, talk about it and let's kind of like go through it and see why they're interesting and hopefully you'll, I don't know, maybe you'll find something that you like there and that you want to buy, so let's go. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is from Balenciaga and it's called the Trash Pouch in Large. It comes in two colorways, it's white and black, but I think the one that I want to talk about is the white. So this bag came out as part of the Fall Winter 22 runway. It's kind of the thing that caught, I think, a lot of people's attention because we're seeing a trash bag on the runway, like, that's insane. But I think for me, what makes it so interesting is that it's not the first time we've seen a trash bag style bag come out from, like, a major fashion house. Marc Jacobs actually did a bag called the, I think it was like the Raindrop Bissace. I do not know if that's how you pronounce it, and I don't want to look it up because I just like saying it like that. <laughs> When that bag came out, it kind of like caused a stir. People were like, why are you making a trash bag for Louis Vuitton, whatever. Ugh. It kind of was out of character. Like Marc Jacobs definitely like played with the house codes and you know, he's the one who brought all these collaborations, but then to make a trash bag was kind of wacky, right? So then when Demna Visalia, I also don't know if I'm saying that name right. So when Demna brought out this trash bag for the fall winter 22 collection, people were like, Oh my god, it's an actual trash bag. And for me, what gets me is that it looks like an actual trash bag. Of course, the black on black, it looks like a trash bag, but the white with the red pull handles, it looks like a hefty trash bag. Like, the whole like, hefty, hefty, hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. hefty. Like, that's what like, is like in my mind anytime I see it. And that's something that I find immensely entertaining. I don't necessarily know like, how much I would enjoy carrying it. I do know like it has a shoulder strap that you attach to the sides and you can like fold the top over a little bit but then it still has like the whole like drawstring action going on. I don't know about you but like I think I definitely am the kind of person who loves carrying those like not trump low but like the whole idea of like it's an object that looks like another object like this thing perfect example it looks like an Ikea bag but then we have like a trash bag that you would carry around, which actually is in the same material as this one in their arena leather, which is like a crinkle patent, patent? Am I British? A crinkle patent. <laughs> but it's a crinkle patent leather. That is the first thing. I love it because it's very dumb, but let's move on. The next thing that I'm so into right now is a new style of tabby boot from Margiela. And this one has like a broken mirror finish. So if you're familiar with this channel, you know I am obsessed with tabby boots. I have three pairs, and it's definitely not going to be the last of them. This boot is insane, though. I mean, it's all in the description. It's like a broken mirror. It's this metallic silver, and then there's these crackles. And for me, I don't know, there's something like dangerous and kind of like sexy about like it looking like a broken mirror. Like, oh no, you shouldn't touch that. Or like, oh, it's bad luck because it's a broken mirror or something like that. But then to actually just like have it be like an application that's on your shoe, I think, is so cool, and I just really want <laughs> Alright, next thing. This is actually another item from Balenciaga. I don't think it's like directly from the Fall Winter 22 runway, but it's definitely like, the references for it are there. So, if you saw any of like the press photos from that runway, you saw Kim Kardashian was like 
taped up in like Balenciaga like duct tape but it looked like caution tape and like that was her whole outfit she like got wrapped up in it they did this kind of like finish onto an hourglass bag I love it I think I have like enough hourglass bag because I feel like two is already like overkill but like I haven't seen it in person so I don't know if it actually is but it looks like it's literally just like they wrapped tape around an hourglass bag like it looks like there's even like a little bit of like wrinkling and creasing and things like that that like separates the tape from itself so then it like has a couple of like little folds or something like that for me this is like a really great embodiment of like the Balenciaga tape without you actually buying or somehow getting Balenciaga tape you can like showcase it and I think it's a really fun bag because it's the whole like black and yellow kind of that caution warning and for it to be on such a structural bag shape I don't know it's like the whole like layers of like aggression like you have like the pointy bag yellow and black and then just like all of it wrapped and it looks kind of like a crime scene a little bit I think that's really interesting and fun the next thing I'm so into right now is from Bottega's Fall Winter 22 collection. So it's called the Large Pillow Pouch, and it basically is just like a huge, like, it looks like maybe a queen or even a king size pillow shaped leather pouch. <laughs> but it's like this huge rectangle that's just puffy and it has like no detail. I think the white is the most fun because it looks kind of like an actual pillow, except it's a little shiny. Which I mean, I guess some pillows are shiny. I don't know what pillow would be shiny. Is if your pillow shiny, comment below. All right, and then the last thing that I'm so into right now is something that actually happened very recently, and I actually talked about it in a video. I had a Let's See Marc Jacobs Fendi, like the whole like 25 years of the Fendi baguette. It was just a capsule runway that they did to showcase like the Fendi baguette and like really take pride in the bag as it's existed in a very consistent way. I think it was a really interesting show. Again, this feels very like Y2K with like a lot of like tool, some sparkles, a little bit of like the sequins. I say sequins dress. It's a sequins dress because there's more than one sequin. Is it wrong English? Honestly, not much of it caught my eye personally for me to want, but this version of the baguette really like suck its claws into me. And it's one that has the Marc Jacobs iconography on top of the Fendi baguette. From images I could find, I know that there's two sizes at least. So the one that I noticed really on the runway is the huge white one. It was like a, basically a messenger bag. It looked like it was like this big and it's just a huge baguette and it said the baguette in a similar way that Marc Jacobs bags has like the tote bag or the, you know, the camera or whatever. Like, But for me, it's that kind of like not to use buzzwords, but it's that kind of like synergy where it's like the whole idea of like these collaborations. For example, we have the hourglass where it's the Gucci monogram on the hourglass shape. And then for Fendi, doing this with Marc Jacobs in such a strong way where it's literally like the baguette in the way that Marc Jacobs would put on his bags, I think is so fun. And there's a smaller black version of the bag that it's the same thing where it says like the baguette, but then I think this is more of like a reasonable size. I think it's just like a regular baguette, like this size or whatever. But then for me, like, I have to assume that they're going to be doing different colorways of that bag. I just don't know how limited it's going to be, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, but then those are all the things I'm like really into right now. If I had to like notice a theme, it's a lot of like white things or like danger because like the whole like caution tape or broken glass looking kind of finish to the tabby boots. I don't know what's going on right now, but like there's definitely something going on in my mind where it's like, oh yeah, like winter is coming, watch out. I don't know, maybe that's what it is. But let me know, did any of this like catch your attention? Do you like have your eye on any of these pieces? I know I'm not gonna go for like most of these, even though I find them like really interesting. I think the most interest for me lays in the Marc Jacobs Fendi baguette collab. I also have a feeling like that's going to be super hard to get so I guess we'll kind of see as it comes and I also think that since that was a capsule for spring summer 23 it's probably not going to come out for a little while at least so maybe not until the new year but we'll see about that you know. But that is all I have for you today so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe it lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind designer luxury. Until next time Winter is coming. Ooh, I don't know what that means. I've never watched that show. Ooh, winter.